Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 6, The Spinal Frontier. We're now inside Stella's brain using the elevator that the evil nanites put together. Who knows what's going to happen now? Uh, let's have a look around. It looks like we can go up or down, so... And there's also a stop button as well, so let's, uh... It's a recently constructed shaft between the hemispheres of Stella's brain. Okay. Um... It's a recently constructed shaft. What is all this? It's a recently constructed... It's a reason. Okay, doesn't really look like there's much. So can we go Your down? Utterances. This button. Yeah. How do we? Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay, okay. That that goes very very quickly. It turns out. So let's let's go down again. There, it looked like there was stuff there. But my god, that moves quickly. <clears throat> okay. I bet. Okay, so what... Oh, okay, it looks like it's... Is it just crap? I better never, ever... <laughs> what is this? It's a recently constructed shaft. So this is the motor control center. Motor control center? Okay. Uh, what's this? This sign says this is her pleasure center. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. Oh, God, this is very, very quick. There's an under construction thing. This sign says this is her pleasure center. No, that's... This sign I thought that's what that said. This sign says... This okay, is that her... also says that. This sign says this is her pleasure center. Oh, okay, so I see, is it? Right, okay. Fine. What does this say? Interesting. The sign says this is Stellar's cough control center. Cough control center. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't... I, I kind of wanted to stop there. What is this? A huge pile of debris is standing in front of what appears to be some sort of passage. Light pours through the opening. Okay, can we, like... Your effort to move it is... Your effort to move it is futile. Okay, we can't move Your it. Your effort to move... Uh, so there's like, there's like things this going is on. strange looking. Used pieces of nanite hardware as well as some stuff that looks vaguely like mining equipment litter the area. Right, okay. Um, what, what I actually wanted to do was to stop at the next level. Uh, I could see there's something here. Oh, this is her choice of men center. It looks a little odd. <laughs> Don't know what that says about you, Roger. Okay, what's this? Interesting. The sign says this is Stellar's cough control center. Right, okay. So, can we, like, walk off to the side? Of... No, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, so let's go all the way down. So, we've got all sorts of different areas. That one doesn't have a sign. Uh, can we... Can we walk around this? Can we... Your effort to move it... Don't touch that. Okay, so it looks like we've got to move this somehow. It's too small for you to even fit your head in. But you've never heard that before. <laughs> okay. So, do we have anything that we can use on this? Excellent guess. Uh, maybe we can, like, it would appear scrape away it? No. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if that really worked? No. Okay. Boy, wouldn't it? No. Excellent. No. Okay, well, um... What does this, this say? Is strange looking. You... Okay, so... It feels like we've got to maybe get this out of the way somehow. So... I mean, can we literally do anything to any of these areas? Which one was this again? Oh, this is her cho choice of men. I'd better never, ever touch that while I'm in here. Okay, fine. He doesn't want to touch that. What was this one? Interesting. The sign says this is Stellar's cough control center. Cough control center? It feels slightly gritty. Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. That's del- Okay, so th that didn't say about never touching it. Oh, okay. Stop. 
I'd better never ever touch that while I'm in here. Okay. I'd better never. So we better never touch that. I'd better never. Okay, and then I think that's. The, yeah, that's the whole way. So it looks like the cough center is potentially different to the others because we didn't get that same message when we tried to touch it. So that would suggest to me that we can do something there. Okay, down we go. Uh, where's the cough? Is this the cough center? You summon the ability. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right, can we use any of our items on it? Excellent get. No. Um we've still got these Boy, things. That's an in No. Fish? Boy, wouldn't it be cool? No. Uh can we like use the morphin? It would appear that No. Uh okay, the paper clip thing. Ah, yes. <coughs> Right. Right, so we can use the paper clip. What happens if we use the paper clip on other bits? It would appear that merging it would appear I'd better never ever touch that while I'm in here. Okay, so let's save. So for some reason we can use the paper clip on the cough center. Not sure why we would want to do that, but apparently that is a thing. Uh, so cough, that's not how you spell cough, cough center. Uh, right, so can we use the paper clip on any of the other areas? It would appear that... No. That's an... It would appear that... No. Okay. That's a... Strange. This... So... I don't suppose that's done anything down here, but you never know. Uh, that has actually moved it, I think. That wasn't as big before, was it? A huge pile of debris is standing in front of what appears to be some sort of passage. Light pours through the opening. Okay, can we just walk through there then? No. Oh yeah, we can go through now. So I guess the cough center somehow cleared the inside the brain? Wow. What Ugh. What the hell happened there? Whoa. Ah. Even in this suit that hurts like a Gee. What's going on here? And what's with that big robot? Well, well, Mr. Wilco. Sharpe? That's to being impressed that you made it this far. You are either a very lucky man or the classic case of how looks can be deceiving. Uh, okay. From what I know of your history, I can't say that in this case looks are necessarily deceiving. On the other hand, I don't think luck accounts for it all either. <laughs> There's definitely something different about you, Mr. Wilco. Yep. It's a pity, though. I'm afraid this is where the odds catch up with you, Roger. Right, okay. I do hope you don't mind me referring to you as Roger. I feel we can both be on a first name basis now, since we will soon be sharing such intimate moments. My rebirth and your death. Not necessarily in that order. I'll attend to you in a moment. I have a few more little details to finish before I transfer my consciousness into this body. Enjoy it, Roger. It'll be among the very last of your memories. Wow. O okay. Oh, and by the way, escape attempts will prove to be futile. You will be incinerated if necessary. Right, so I wonder if that means we can't leave? What a bit... Also, is this Sharpe? I'm sorry. What was that you were saying? I'm very, uh... Me? Uh, I was, a, uh, uh, I was saying, uh, what a bite. <laughs> yeah, I had a little trouble with some parasites a while ago down in the digestive tract. That's all. <laughs> Fine, um, right. Let's save before we get killed by the giant robot. So is, is, um, Sharpe the robot then? That's, um... A little unexpected. 
It seemed to be suggesting that if we try to escape, we will die. It's a piece of mining equipment. She's been digging around in the cortex. Okay, mining equipment. It's the robot Sharpe is using, just as Dr. Bellows told you about. Oh, right, she's using the robot. Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. Okay, can we look at Welcome anything? Welcome to the cerebral cortex. It looks like someone's been mining brain matter. Brain matter. Okay, can we go this way? No. So there's some sort of mining machine. It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. We can't touch whatever that is. What's the deal with the, this light? It's a piece of mine. You summon the ability to leave it alone. Okay. Can we like do anything with this? It probably seemed like a good idea. Can we? It would appear that merging those two. No. Do we have any weapons? Maybe we can like throw these at it. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if that really worked? Yeah, it would. It worked on the other ones. Um. I mean, okay. We're, we're sort of. As cool as it it would appear that merging those two items Okay. What's this? It looks like a bundle of nerves with electrical current through them. A bundle of nerves with electrical current. Hmm. I've got this bundle of nerves. I wonder what I can use to make this into something. Uh okay. Can we use something on it? Excellent guess, Chris. No, not that. Uh, may maybe we've got to use something metal. That's an maybe the, um, this, because this is metal, right? Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, we're doing something. Oh, yeah, we zapped it. Did we win? That was really easy. Yeah, I mean, the music's playing. That was actually a great idea. <laughs> Roger's a genius after all. Yeah, I kicked her butt. Just look at me. MacGyver wishes he could be me. <laughs> it was bound to happen. The never-ending battle between good and evil was once again waged. And once again, good has emerged victorious. Once again, Roger is the hero for the sixth time. And with me on its side, how could it lose? <laughs> yes. Once again, I have struck a blow for good. He's really milking this. It was in a hey. Ah, what? Oh God, I there's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> well, it appears you thought wrong. What is that? Now, Why is she now some sort Roger. of like tentacle brain? <laughs> Wilco, I haven't survived this long without taking precautions. The robot was just hardware. My mind still exists. Oh, good. Oh, real wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, was I meant to do something there? Hey, watch those tentacles, lady. I thought that being partially embedded in the street on Polly Sorbet was a strange feeling. <laughs> right, uh, okay, right, let's let's save just in case. Um Okay. Uh <laughs> Tentacle Sharpe. <laughs> I d I don't want to think too much about that. Um right. My. She has a different look now. I don't know which I like better. Okay, can we? That's delightfully. No. Okay, can we stab her with like the? No. Oh no 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 no! Cool. A chance to check out your own digestive tract. Okay. Wow. We we've, we've got to be quick. Uh. Oh, the paperclip's gone. Can we stab Excellent. with the morphine? Yeah. No. Okay, we can't That's get her with the the things. There's got to be something. Ah. Oh. A chance to check out your own digestive tract. <laughs> okay, right. It would appear that it's not that. We're just going to use all of our items. It would appear that merging those two. No. Okay. The fish. It's the fish. <laughs> no way. Fish. That's brain food. The fish is finally a thing. <laughs> I've been trying to use it for the whole game. <laughs> The moldy fish. <laughs> All right, is she actually dead this time? All right, she actually chowed down on that rancid fish. I get it. It's brain food. I Clever. I'd never get rid of that fish. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I think she might actually be dead. Unless there's some. Hang on. That looks like bellows. 
Maybe there's one more thing going on here. I don't... After that, the second boss, I don't trust that it's over. <laughs> We, we, we seem to be... <laughs> There's the light. Are we going to come out of a spot or something? <laughs> <laughs> we are. Oh, there you are. That's gross. And now, oh, we're back on the ship. <laughs> that was that was very sudden. Boy, Stellar, with all that's happened recently, I never would have imagined that we'd be standing here together. It is a miracle, Roger. I was afraid that by the time you got my message, it would be too late. I was certain I was doomed. Nah, we're Roger Wilco. We always win. What you did was incredibly brave, Roger. Not to mention intensely risky. It took Dr. Bellows a lot of work to clean up after you and Sharpay. <laughs> I must say, Roger, there's not a man in the universe who knows me inside the way you do. It was a strange feeling, but I went in there all business. There wasn't a moment I wasn't thinking of your welfare. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Let me put my boots on. It's getting deep in here. <laughs> I love the narrator. Cheese it, pal, or I'll rip out your larynx and you won't be able to get a job doing bad voiceover work for Chinese action pictures. <laughs> what did you say, Roger? <laughs> oh, um, I was just mumbling to myself. You know, Stellar. There's one thing I noticed while inside you I, I thought I might share. Uh, okay. And what's that, Roger? Is it the weird stuff she's been eating? You eat like a goat. Yep. <laughs> you really have to change your eating habits, Stellar. I saw some things in your digestive tract I wouldn't wish on Sludge Vohol. <laughs> you really have to clean up your consumption habits. Yep. Yes, I know, I know. Dr. Bellows said he was able to fix most everything done to me during Sharpay's invasion, as well as patching an ulcer that was playing havoc with my stomach. He told me the same thing. Good. You might also try chewing. <laughs> yeah. You had a hunk of twinkoid wedged in your throat that, that would have gagged Linda Lovelace. Okay, Roger, okay, I got the message. Let's change the subject, shall we? Ask me where I'm stationed next. Why don't you just tell me? Boy, some fun you are. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm a little grumpy. I had a real day. I, I had to clean the captain's log entry container. <laughs> then somebody got a nice buzz and ate rear and decided to take a wormhole ride in the hollow suite. Nice. They hit a few wrong buttons and the next thing I know, I'm cleaning Virgon nebula sets and hors d'oeuvres off every wall and ceiling. Apparently, they truly did make the room spin. Boy, they spackled everything. Had to use the putty knife to chip loose some of All the right, stop, off. Roger. You're killing the mood. Uh, Roger, I'm sorry you had a rough day, but can we please change the subject? Oh, sorry. Anyway, I think you're going to like your next assignment. Is it as a cleaner somewhere really? else? What is it? Where is it? Sorry, you're just going to have to wait to find out. Okay. As Roger and Stellar warp off into the nebula set, many questions remain. 
Will Roger and Stellar become an item? How will Beatrice Wankmeister react when she hears about this new friend in Roger's life? Will Roger's voice be a few octaves higher as a result? <laughs> Would they dare to make another one of these things? Only time and money will tell. I've been up to my lips in urinal pucks lately. I hope it's something different. <laughs> well, there we go. And we'll never find out because that is the final Space Quest game. That is it. We've finished the Mega Let's Play of all the Space Quest games, one through six. Who wrote um, this crap? <laughs> oh, yeah, Scott. Yeah, well, yeah, then uh, uh, good, good, good work. <laughs> Let's be honest, this is probably the weakest in the series, but actually, aside from the polysorbate stuff at the beginning, I actually really enjoyed this game. That first bit, the lack of direction was horrible, I'll be honest. I think if I'd been playing it on my own, I probably would have quit on that, on that part of the game, but I'm glad that I didn't, because what came after that felt more like Space Quest than the beginning. But as a whole, Space Quest, absolutely fantastic. I can't believe it took me this long to play it. Um, I know Ideal has, has been saying to me ever since my Thimbleweed Did Park Let's Play. Did you hear killed himself? Yeah, he, he couldn't draw his own breath. Oh dear. Yeah, ever since I did my Thimbleweed Park Let's Play back in, I think, 2018, Ideal's been saying, please play the, the Space Quest games. We've played them. I'm so glad I played them. They are fantastic. Up there with the best adventure games I've ever played. And now I finally understand the Sierra thing. I'm, I can't wait to dive more into Sierra's back catalogue. I've never played any other Sierra games, so I'm really excited to see what the rest are like. Um, as I said, we'll be playing... By the way, are the credits. They're called credits because... Well, we can't afford to really pay anybody until more people buy the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As I said, we'll be jumping into Toonstruck next, and then once I've finished Toonstruck, which again will be a blind playthrough, we will be jumping into the complete Police Quest series, which I've been told is really difficult. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's been so much fun playing with all you guys, leaving me the little hints and the comments, which have made this a lot easier than it probably would have been on my own. But Space Quest is going to be up there as one of my, my all-time favourite sets of adventure games now. It's it's really terrific. And as I said, this one had its problems, but if you look at the six games as a whole, just brilliant. You cut out that first part of this game, and it's near enough flawless the whole way through. Just so, so good. Thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. All these people worked on this dumb game. <laughs> I love these little comments. That is going to do it for this one. So as, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tumly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support. A special thank you as well to Idol, uh, formerly S. Thomas, for keeping track of all the deaths all the way from Space Quest 1 all the way to the end. Um, really appreciate that. It's been interesting seeing how the deaths have decreased as we've gone across the games. Um, Space Quest 2, I think, was the highest death count, which was absolutely insane. This one, I would, I would guess about 30, but I'm, I'm not sure at all. Um, so, Idol, if you put the final count in the bottom, maybe we can get a final count for the entire series. That'd be quite interesting to look at. But for now, that is going to do it for Space Quest. There are a couple of fan games, which I will be playing on the channel at some point. They won't be coming straight away, but... Um, there was the prequel game and a couple of others that you guys have mentioned. We will be diving back into those at some point in the future, just not quite yet. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll catch you all in Toonstruck. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 That's it. Bye-bye. No more. Bye-bye. That's it. All finished. Bye-bye. 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 Farewell. Farewell. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, this is it. The last time. time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good. Good. Bye. Thank you for playing Space Quest 6. This is Gary Owens.